are ready to enter the college football playoff to see if a Chinese quarterback can win the national championship. And our road to the natty starts with the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl against Penn State in Atlanta, Georgia. Penn State has the number one defense in the league, allowing the least total offensive yards and passing yards. So after our last practice, we head out to Atlanta, Georgia. Mercedes-Benz Stadium packed with Gator fans as they have traveled up for a chance to see their team clinch a berth into the national championship. First play, Christian Bay you hits his boy Wallace for a nice little three yard game. Penn State instantly starts running. Hurry up. Interesting approach to start the game as they pick up a first down. This definitely caught our defense off guard, but we get a tackle for loss to stop the nonsense. And they start out with a field goal to go up 3 0. So here we go. Our first snap in the college football playoff. It's a fake screen wheel. I hit a pump fake and I'm rolling out to my right and I look deep for a big play. Dejon Reynolds, 47 yard reception. What a start for the Florida Gators. First and 10 play action. I'm rolling to my left. I see Graham on the comeback now. Oh my god, what a catch. Highlight play after highlight play brings us on second and goal. I'm rolling to my right and Penn State has clearly not done their homework. Touchdown! Fantastic game script by Coach Napier combined with excellent execution has us on a blazing start. Next drive. Bayou drops back taking a deep shot. Ball is in the air. Interception! What a sequence for the Gators! Now we are back in the red zone hungry for more. I split a ball in between the linebackers for our second touchdown of the quarter. Lee Black with a nice grab. What a start for the Florida Gators. 14-3 to start the second quarter. Can the defense get a third consecutive stop? Bayou throws a deep ball to Wallace. Bust in coverage. 71-yard touchdown. What a response by the Nittany Lions. So we must respond to bring the noise back in the stadium. Third and 11 here. I'm looking for my number one, Marcus Burke. He makes the reception, but he's short of the first down. And coach opts to go for it because he's aggressive. Fourth and one. Curl's concept is the play call and I hit my tight end. Perfect ball placement right underneath the linebacker's arm and the drive continues. Next ensuing play, play action. Once again, the tight ends are left open over the middle, but my tight end fumbles it. We turn the ball over there. Crucial mistake by our tight end. But I'm thinking it's okay because the fumble was deep in Penn State zone. And I'm starting to think maybe we get the ball back on a safety or something as Walden almost forces a fumble. Second and 11, Bayou looks deep again. And look who it is, Wallace once again. Same side on the same corner, 97 yards, house call. Penn State have taken the lead here in Atlanta. What a turnaround here in the first half. But don't think we're not looking to respond with a score of our own as I roll out to my right. I break out loose for the first time in the game. Air half is taken off. I want the national championship as we cap off the drive. To our right side to Graham. A nice response by the Gators offense. Me and V, you are going toe to toe right now with this offensive production as they finish off the half for a field goal to bring the game 21-20 into halftime. First drive of the second half. This could be our last half we ever play in college football. Goal line giving me great protection and I find Finley Graham. Once again, he's having a great game so far. And that pass right there breaks a Florida record for the most passing yards in a season. Breaking my own record set last year during my junior year. Next play after breaking a record, Penn State and man coverage. Come on now. No spy as well. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Gators. And not only is that a touchdown, that is back-to-back -back records broken on back-to-back -back plays. The most rushing touchdowns in a season by a Gator. Breaking Tim Tebow's record. What a drive. What a player. What a game. Penn State offense comes out of half with a different approach. Attacking on the ground, dominating the line of scrimmage with five straight runs. Defense is getting out muscled on the line of scrimmage as Bayou dives the ball up the middle to Clifford for the touchdown. And after converting the two-point conversion, we are back on offense and I'm taking off. Up the right sideline, big gain, and I kick the linebacker in the head. Kung Fu style, all right? My shin's gonna be sore tomorrow. Third and goal. I have plenty of options here. I look them off, though, as I scramble out, and I have the check down. But I get hit once again, and we must settle for a field goal to take back the lead. But our defense is struggling right now. We are losing up front. We cannot do anything to control this Penn State run offense as they rush all the way down the field to take back the lead. I have not seen our defense look this bad all year as this is setting up for a all-time shootout heading into the fourth quarter. Third and goal. I'm looking for the corner out here and no. No, 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 no. I don't know. Not tell me I just got intercepted by a white DB, ladies and gentlemen. My draft stock just plummeted. That is easily the most embarrassing play of my career. Penn State has a chance right now to add to their lead. But a big tackle by Shamar James on third and 12 gets us the ball back. What a stop by the defense there. Second and six play action. Penn State only rushing four. I know I have time, so I'm rolling out to my right. I have my tight end open down the sideline, and I hit him for a huge game to set a 
of the handoff to ETN. And the Gators have regained the lead. What a semifinal this has been. Can the defense muster up another stop to clinch a berth into the national championship? Third and six, biggest play of the game. They U hot routes the outside. He snaps the ball. Drop back. Looking deep down the right sideline. And look who it is again. Wallace, who's been torching our secondary all game. Another big play, which is capped off with a VU rushing touchdown to put Penn State back in the lead. So with 4.07 remaining in the game, it is up to us to win this game. All right, hand off to ETN. Shut down. Failed read option on second and eight brings us to third down. Need to move the ball. Advance the chains to get a touchdown right here. I hit the corner route to my tight end. And the ball bounces off his helmet. What is he doing? What is he looking at right there? He didn't turn around. So we have to punt down by four with 322 left in the fourth. So now we need a stop to get us the ball back. I am praying on the sideline for another chance. Penn State hands the ball off to Wallace, trying to chew some clock, but our defense comes through. Tackle for loss brings us to third and 13. They run a quarterback run, but that defense is having none of that, and we get the ball back with one minute and 38 seconds. First throw of the drive. Oh my god, that was almost an interception. We get lucky there. Second play, I'm generating time. I don't see anybody, so I take off once again. Going out of bounds is not in my name as I trust the DB. And we need to move fast. First and 10. Coach calls a shot play, so I take the shot. Deep ball, Graham. Oh, he drops it. Second and 10. I find the wide open receiver, Reynolds, but he drops it. The nerves are coming into play here as we move to third down. Biggest play of the game. I'm rolling out to my right, and I find Graham to keep the drive alive. Next play. QB power. Coach Napier wants it in the hands of the Chinese man. I rumble up the middle for a 13-yard gain. Timeout. 49 seconds left. Graham in motion. Another play action pass. Rolling right. I see an open man. Touchdown, Gator. The same tight end who had the ball bounce off his helmet early in the game. Huge extra point puts us up by three in the semifinal. So now it comes down to our defense. One stop for the win. First play, Vayu drops back, finds Clifford wide open up the sideline. Penn State calls a timeout. Second play of the drive, same play again. What are we doing? Two plays is all it takes. First and ten, Vayu checks it down. Singleton makes the catch, but he's met with a boom. What a hit right there. Keeps him in bounds as well. Now Penn State have to hurry up. They get on the line to spike the ball to make it third and 11. We cannot give up a touchdown, boys. I gotta bring the natty home to my mom. you drops back incomplete. So it comes down to this kick right here. A block or a miss will send us to the national championship. Ball is snapped. Hold is good. Kick is up. Ben, it's good. 45-45 in the semifinal, and we are headed to overtime. Penn State chooses the coin toss, and they lose the toss. As both teams have a chance at the ball, I elect for defense to go out first, as they are hot from containing Penn State to three points on the previous drive. So ball on the 25 overtime, and off the Singleton. Fumble! Singleton fumble! The D-line comes up with it! All we gotta do is make the field go easier for our kicker now, and we have a spot in the national championship. I break another one of my records their most passing yards in a game by a Florida QB, which sets up the chippy to win the game. Bang! The Gators are back. The Gators are back. They are back in the national championship game. The number one team in the nation came up clutch at the end. Defense forced the fumble. And we have officially won the Peach Bowl 48-45 in an OT stunner against Penn State. What a nerve-wracking game right there, but we have made it to the championship game. And we will face UNC as they defeat Ohio State with the same score 48-45. We face the best QB we have seen this year, senior Drake May. And on the defensive side, we must worry about the highest ranked D tackle in the nation, junior Travis Shaw. But here we go. Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. It is essentially a home game. It is my final college football game. I have been dreaming about winning the national championship ever since I started watching football. And my dreams might come true tonight. I could put Chinese football Football on the map. First play of the game. I spin out to my left, buying time from a receiver. And my tight end, Big E, creates enough separation for a 37 yard gain. Third and five here. UNC sends the blitz. But I'm ready for it. I'm experienced. Four years of college football has prepared me for reads like that as I start three for three. Put up six points on the board to start the national.
national championship up. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Drake May cannot handle the blitz. And we get the ball back deep in Tar Heel zone. And off to ETN. Fantastic blocking up the middle. Right into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. An absolute dream start here in Tampa Bay as the defense continues to harass Drake May. I could tell the defense was pissed coming off the last game as they come out firing. Big hits, big plays. They are swarming all over the ball. And you know the offense wasn't going to let them down. Third and ten. I'm patient. Trickling back, buying time. Touchdown. Three touchdowns in the first quarter. And we break another record for most passing touchdowns in a season by a Gator previously held by Kyle Trask. But Drake May finally starts to pick up some rhythm as he puts together a nice drive. And he cashes in four seven points there to start the second quarter. First and ten. Tar Heel send the corner blitz. But that does not phase me. Right up the middle to Nevac for a 20-yard game. This time I'm rolling out to my right. And a bust in coverage. What are the Tar Heels doing here? Wide open to Burke. Touchdown. What an offensive display by the Chinese man on the biggest stage. 62 yards. This is getting ugly early as defense mauls me. And the machine just keeps rolling. This offense cannot be stopped by any team in the nation. Fifth touchdown of the half with five minutes remaining in the quarter. And we have broken a college football record. For most passing touchdowns in their entire collegiate career. A record previously held by Case Keenum. However, after a UNC touchdown, a miss on a Wide open routine ball and a UNC field goal. We needed to stay on our toes, all right? I see that my boy Burke is red hot. He is on fire, so I throw it with zero hesitation. And what do you know? Of course, the ball is right on the mark. We end the drive up with another read option to make it six touchdowns in one half. 42 to 20 is the score at halftime. And what a time it was for me to play my best football in a half. 273 quarterback rating, 347 yards, and four touchdowns with zero picks. Burke Burke also has 146 yards and three touchdowns. And the defense has six sacks. McClellan with three at half time. But can we sustain this lead as we head into the last half of football in our college career? UNC starts out the second half with a long drive that almost takes up an entire quarter. And they cash in for a touchdown, which all of a sudden makes it a two possession game. Momentum is starting to shift a little bit in the stadium as I look for Burke, assuming he would be open. But the safety baits me and comes up with an interception. Our first mistake of the game and all of a sudden the game looks close. UNC is starting to move the ball on us as they have regained life. Third and four. Need a stop here by the defense here. Drake May looks up the middle. Diving catch by Chapman. Touchdown UNC. We were up by 27 at one point in this game but now it is a one possession game. First and ten receivers not generating separation. So I'm gonna do it myself like every Chinese man in that group project. Running up the middle over the logo. Scoop! The change of direction is deadly. What a big game. Big play there for the Gators. Third and four. We need to continue moving the chains. I leave the pocket a little too early and I tried to do too much. We have yet to score a point in the second half. This is a complete opposite display of what we showed in the first. And Drake May has a chance to tie. He looks deep. All in the air but it's broken up by Green. Third and ten. Biggest play of the game. We send a blitz and we get home. Drake May gets sacked for negative eight yards. Perfect response by our defense. So now we just need a couple of first downs to wash the clock down and we will become national no champions. I am wasting as much time as possible. I take off and I slide for the first time in my life. This is how you know I want the natty, all right? I don't think I've slid since my baseball days in China. First and ten. ETN rushing up to the right. Gains a yard and UNC uses their second timeout. Second and nine. Another handoff to ETN. Mauled by the D-line. That forces UNC to use their last remaining timeout. Third and eight. A first down ices the game. And we will be crowned national champions. ETN tackle for loss. 51 makes a great play on the ball and UNC is still alive. A terrible display in the second half by the offense. I have no idea why he punted the ball so fast. I literally can't control this. That long snapper is definitely not coming to the league with me. Alright, he's getting left behind. Oh, with 121 left in the fourth, Drake May has a chance. Can the defense come up with one last stop? First throw, incomplete. Second down, May checks it down to pet away. Tackle inbound. The clock is running. North Carolina is hurrying up to the line. Third and seven. Drake May goes back to Petaway the other way and he somehow gets the first down. UNC is in a rush. They are still going hurry up and because they are in a rush they get called for a false start. Miscommunication on the line. First and 15. Can the defense come up with one last stop? First throw is incomplete. Second throw out of bounds for one yard. Third and 14. The national championship is getting closer. Oh that should have been a fail. But it is fourth and 14. Crap out on its feet. I can smell the national championship trophy right around the corner. North Carolina sets up an empty. They need a first. May looks left. Has the guy wide open. Chapman. Touchdown UNC. What just happened? The entire stadium is silent as UNC has tied the game in the most improbable way. Extra point is good and we are knotted at 42. 15 seconds left. 
Burke, we still have three timeouts. First down, we get an easy one on the slant to Burke. Instant timeout. I've been called all half, but one thing you never do is dealt a Chinese man under pressure. All the high expectations my parents have set for me, all that pressure was gonna come through in this moment. 11 seconds left. I look up the seat and I have my tight end for a 25 yard gain. Another quick timeout with an offense that's been cold all half. We suddenly have a chance to get into field goal range. Coach Napier wants a Hail Mary, but I'm changing the call. I audible and I toss it once again to my tight end, Big E, who's been coming up big in the fourth quarter, and that puts us in field goal range. I think. I'm not too sure. It, there, there's a chance. And what could possibly be my last ever pass in college football? Turned out to break another NCAA record for most passing yards in a season. But here we go. The biggest moment of my life. All my hard work, my dedication, my sacrifices all come down to this kick. 56 yard field goal for the win. Snap is up. Hold is good. Kick is good. What an ending to the national championship game. Struggling all half and I managed to find rhythm with just 11 seconds. Moving all the way down the field for a field goal. And what an end to my college career. After being doubted my entire football life. Your Florida Gators are national champions. My childhood dream is finally finally come true. The nation can finally realize that the best quarterback across the country is a Chinese man. I finally brought the national championship home to my mom. I haven't seen her smile like this in my life. She is so proud of her son and finally starts to see the vision that I had all along, which is becoming a national champion and an NFL level QB. And my road to glory has come to a close. A perfect ending to an illustrious college career and I've officially put Chinese football players on the map. But now it is time to inspire more Chinese kids across the world by taking my talents to the NFL and becoming a full-time football player. My mom is still unsure about this career path, but hopefully the money does the talking and the convincing, and we have officially put pen on paper and declared for the NFL draft. We will find out next time which team will take their chances on a Chinese quarterback.